Welcome again to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is Doc Jerry Tan YouTube channel, a channel that provides you with facts and correcting to correct misinformation regarding chronic conditions like diabetes, obesity, and so-called metabolic syndrome. This is also a channel that is dedicated to the questions of my subscribers or patients regarding common misconceptions. This afternoon, we're going to talk about one of the very common misconception regarding vitamin D, whether it's a cure-all supplement or is this really a hoax? We all know that vitamin D is an important multivitamin because vitamin D is also known as a sunshine vitamin, specifically because your body produces it after the sun exposure. We all know that vitamin D is very important in helping build strong bones. Vitamin D is very critical or important in improving the absorption of calcium from the gut. And we know that calcium is a building block material for strong bones. But what is very critical are studies showing and linking low vitamin D levels to chronic conditions. It has been shown that low levels of vitamin D puts a patient at higher risk of cancer, of heart disease, including mood disorders and dementia. And as a result, multiple studies have shown that maybe if we supplement these patients with vitamin D, we can reduce the risk of heart disease. We can reduce the risk of cancer. However, multiple studies did not show reversal of risk when you supplement these patients with vitamin D. In fact, there is no conclusive clinical trial to show that vitamin D deficiency actually caused the disease. In fact, randomized controlled trials, which are trials which we really depend in terms of evidences, have not shown that supplementing a patient deficient with vitamin D do reverse or prevent heart disease. Rather, what we now believe in is that the low vitamin D is not the cause of the disease, but rather a low vitamin D level is a marker of the severity or the presence of chronic conditions, meaning these patients may be sick enough to prevent them from enjoying the sun or do physical activity, rather than a low vitamin D as a direct cause of the disease. But what we have in clinical trials are convincing evidences to support the role of vitamin D in bone health, which is very important among our postmenopausal women. This is our recommendation for calcium supplementation based on the National Osteoporosis Foundation. That age 50 and younger, we recommend 1,000 milligrams per day of calcium supplementation, while above 51 or older, it's 1,200 milligrams per day. This is on top of the usual calcium that we give from diet. So almost always, I put my patients on calcium supplementation because dietary sources of calcium almost always is not enough. Similar to that, in corollary to that uh, recommendation is the vitamin D because vitamin D is important for proper calcium absorption from the gut. So what is recommended as an upper safe limit for vitamin D is around 4,000 international units per day. This combination of calcium plus vitamin D has been shown in several studies Specifically, this meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials from the National Osteoporosis Foundation to support the use of this combination as an intervention for fracture risk reduction in both community dwelling and institutionalized middle age to older adults. In this 
clinical trial looking at the pooled analysis of vitamin D dose requirements for fracture prevention. If you are on the upper limit of actual intake of around 800 international per, per day, there is an associated 30% risk reduction in terms of hip fracture and a 14% reduction in the risk of any non-vertebral fracture. So true enough, therefore, in general population, we strongly recommend that you obtain vitamin D through diet, exposure to the sun, as long as you're not at increased risk of skin cancer. If you have vitamin D inadequacy, then we consider moderate supplementation using vitamin D supplementation. But remember to watch your dose. Because if you're taking a vitamin D supplement, 600 to 800 international units per day should be an adequate dose for most people. And please avoid taking more than 4,000 international units a day because this is now considered as the safe upper limit. How do you get the optimal vitamin D level for your body? You combine the sources of food and pills. Choose fortified dairy products, fatty fish like salmon. You can even use tuna, uh, canned tuna fish or sardines. But of course, one very important source, both of calcium and vitamin D would be the fortified non-fat milk. So the bottom line of vitamin D is, it is therefore not a cure-all. For me, what these marketeers are doing providing you with their own brand of vitamin D, touting as a helpful tool to prevent cancer and other diseases, they are not based on evidence. But for me, they are lacking of supportive evidence to really say that they do work. Vitamin D, however, has been proven to help bone health and prevent risk of fracture. So if you have to take vitamin D, you do it to prevent a fracture and this should be together with calcium supplementation. The combination of dietary sources and supplementation, however, is key. You cannot do it alone from diet. Yes, you want to avoid the pills, but unfortunately, almost always, you will need the combination of the two. But too much vitamin D can be harmful. Please do not exceed the safe upper limit of 4,000 international units per day. Be cautious, therefore, in taking vitamin D, specifically for marketeers. They have their own brands of vitamin D, giving you so-called benefits, preventing different diseases, including cancer, touting their vitamin D as a cure-all for most diseases. If it's true, I'll tell you it's true. But something that's too good to be true is almost a false news. Again, if you like my video, please click subscribe and the notification bell to be notified for more videos. Again, I would like to thank all my subscribers for tuning in and uh, giving support to all my videos. I will continue to upload more information. Please feel free to write me a message in my YouTube channel or message me for any other health tips or health questions that you have. Also, please click on the link beside for all my past videos that you may like to revisit and relearn. With that, thank you very much and have, have a good day. Thank you.